I was really debating about doing this, man, but um, this has been on my mind for a minute, so y'all got to give me a couple of minutes to elaborate. I want to send a message to Young Buck. Young Buck, I've been through the same situation you've been through, bro. Whether your situation is true or false, I've been through kind of the same situation you've been through. Got arrested back in 2011 for some illegal activity of being involved with a man. Got arrested again in 2013 for the same activity. Now, you didn't get arrested or whatever the case is. Your, your situation is different, but it's still involving a transsexual woman. But what I want to tell you, young buck, is, man, whether your situation is true or not, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to kind of give you a little bit of guidance of what I think you need to do. Because when I went through my situation back in 2011 and in 2013, I had a lot of people giving me advice. But I didn't have nobody that went through what I went through giving me advice. So it was very difficult to try to get advice from somebody trying to tell me what to do when they're not going through what I was going through. So being that I went through what you went through, I want to give you some advice. First and foremost, bro, don't block your Instagram. Your Instagram wasn't blocked before. Don't block the Instagram. Now, everybody deals with trials and tribulations differently. I'm telling you, don't block your Instagram. You had an open page before everything went down. Don't block the Instagram. When I went through everything, I never blocked my Instagram. I let the comments come through. Whatever people wanted to say about me, good, bad, and ugly, I let the comments come through. If it got too outrageous where somebody said something super disrespectful, of course they got blocked. But I never blocked my Instagram. I stood tall through all the adversity. Good, bad, and ugly. So don't block the Instagram. And whether this situation with you is true, deal with it in your own way. Like I said earlier, I had people at that time when I went through what I went through in 2011 and 2013 trying to tell me what to do. But I had to deal with it in my own way. When I was finally ready to tell the truth about myself and who I am and my activities as a man, what I was doing... In 2013, when I had to tell the truth, that was me being ready to do so. So it's going to be so many people that's going to come at you to try to tell you different things. Do things at your own pace, whether it's true or not true. Face this adversity in your own pace and stand tall, bro. Stand tall. That's the biggest thing I want to relay to you. Stand tall. I first got arrested in 2011. It is now 2019, eight years later, and I'm still Mr. C. And I'm still the finisher. And I'm still killing these clubs in New York City. You can still be Young Buck. You can still be that rapper. You can still put out some great music. Don't let this situation stop you from doing what you want to continue to do in your career. Whether it's true, that's something that you're going to have to face on your own if you want to admit it's true. Whether it's false, that's also something that you're going to have to admit. But regardless of what, stand tall through the adversity, bro. I just felt the need to say this to you because nobody was there for me to say this to me. Nobody was going through what I went through. It's hard when you're known as a heterosexual man and then you go through this type of situation. There's no rule book. There's no guidance. There's nobody telling you what to do. I just felt the need that I had to say this to you, bro. Stand tall. If it's true, face your truth, because once you face your truth, nobody can ever, ever use it against you. Your kids is going to still love you. Your family is going to still love you. The hip hop community is going to still love you. So, you know, whatever the situation is, you're going to have to deal with that on your own time and your own pace. But just stand tall through everything. You're going to get the jokes. People are going to joke about you. The blogs is going to ridicule you. All of that is going to happen. But stand tall. The more that you stand tall, bro, the more that they cannot use this against you. I've only met you a few times throughout you being associated with G-Unit. So I can't really say that I know you as well as the other G-Unit members. But I felt like I could send this message to you and you wouldn't be offended by it. If I can survive this whole ordeal that I went through 
eight years ago, and then again six years ago later in 2013, if I can survive it, you can survive it. So, and I'm not doing this for this to be posted on the blogs. I'm not doing this to try to get kudos. I'm doing this to relay a message to another hip-hop brother of mine. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Because we as black people is so quick to make fun of people. We're so quick to ridicule people. We're so quick to write each other off. But we're not quick enough to lift each other up. So I hope that this message can lift you up, young buck. Unblock your page, bro. And keep doing what you're doing, man. Face this thing head on. Mr. C, out.